Hello dear fans. Chuchundra, what is it, the meaning of the word? Chuchundra sounds like a funny nickname, and in a certain context, it sounds like an offensive curse. A direct association that arises when you hear Chuchundra a rat from an animated film. But Chuchundras also exist in real life. And this is not some kind of scary animal, but an ordinary, quite cute mammal, almost the same as a guinea pig, a hamster, or a vole mouse. And even if the word is familiar only by the name of the rat, the main character of the cartoon Ricky Tiki Tavi, filmed based on the story from The Jungle Book by R. Kipling and at school in zoology lessons they don't talk about it as a separate subspecies, but this is quite real animal. Who is Chuchandra? Chuchandra is a subspecies of the smallest mammals of the order of shrews on Earth. Despite the fact that the general appearance of shrews is tiny, they grow in length only up to 4 centimeters, and weigh no more than 2 g, Chuchandra is an exception. The giant shrew, as it is scientifically called, grows up to 18 centimeters in length and can weigh as much as 200 g. Shrews are aggressive in nature and can be hostile to all other animals, large or small. Interestingly, these rodents are credited with high intelligence. Even the part of the shrew's brain is equal to 10% of the total body weight, and this is much more significant than that of an intelligent dolphin and a monkey. Shrews are rightfully attributed to the same level of intellectual development with rats, which are very quick-witted and inventive. In total, there are 260 varieties of this species. They are distributed throughout the planet, with the exception of the North Pole. In Russia, 21 species of animals are officially described. Of these, the most common. Chersky shrew, smallest shrew. Brownie shrew, or giant shrew, Chuchandra in common people. Common Kadora, for its water repellent, velvet wool, it is called water. Dwarf shrew. Long-tailed shrew. Forest shrew, or common shrew shrew hopper, and etc. The name Chuchandra is by no means an invention. This is the local North Indian name for the animal, which is pronounced Chuchander and Chuchander in Hindi and Urdu. The stress should be placed on the second letter, Y. By the way, in Russian it is translated as muskrat, and indeed, it emits just such an unappetizing smell, or muskrat. And here comes a pun, since in fact the muskrat is a completely different species of rodents, and it does not live in India at all. How does it behave? The giant shrew is a poorly studied species of shrews, and it does not allow itself to be studied, because behaves covertly. They live alone, while they are unpretentious, when choosing a home. A shrew can find a hole in the wall, a hole, a hole in the underground, next to a person. It is also called a brownie shrew, for this, and twist a nest there from anything, up, to sawdust and old foliage. She does not stand on ceremony with enemies, it emits a strong pungent smell to scare them away. So, in fact, she has no enemies. The only established fact is that giant shrews prefer to eat tree snakes. Chuchandra's life is short, it lives only one, five to two years. What eats? Taste preferences are not much different from other mice. Shrew's favorite delicacy is insects, worms, and large larvae. Do not hesitate to gigantic and small animals any animal that it will be able to overcome. Chuchandra is gluttonous and predatory. A day it can eat two or even three times more food than its own weight. It hunts and feeds at night. It is at night thanks to sharp eyesight and excellent scent, that shrews penetrate human dwellings and look for food there, insects, food. The appearance of offspring. The behavior of white-toothed shrews has been little studied. Observations of zoologists confirm that in one day of estrus, a female shrew can mate not with one, but with many males. Scientists have recorded a situation when a female mated with eight males almost 300 times in a row in just two hours. 
Chichunders breed all year round, but they mate most actively in spring and autumn, most likely. This is due to the availability of food, because they need a lot of food. Features of the birth of cubs A nest maternity hospital is made by a female or a male hastily from hay, paper, grass, leaves. There are usually up to three pups in one litter. They are born naked and blind. Newborns do not leave the nest for 20 days. The brood walks in single file, gripping the tail of the cub running in front with its teeth. The mother is at the head of the column. When the shrews are about 35 days old, they can already mate and bear their offspring. Chromosomes An amazing fact. Giant shrews differ in chromosome composition in different subspecies. For example, those shrews that are common in Hindustan and the island of Sri Lanka each have 15 pairs of chromosomes. And other subspecies in other countries all 20 pairs. In the 30-chromosome white-toothed shrew, five pairs of chromosomes were naturally combined with five more pairs. This does not affect life in any way. By the way, both subspecies of the white-toothed shrew perfectly interbreed with each other and give numerous broods. There are exceptions, often individuals are born sterile. How to distinguish a giant shrew from a field mouse? If a mouse has started up on your garden plot, do not rush to call it a vole and run after the mousetrap. Perhaps this is rare for Russia, but such a famous Chuchundra. The shrew has an elongated muzzle that even resembles a proboscis. The skull of the shrew is very large, as if elongated. The eyes are too small, not red, but black. Weight 200 g, length some 18 centimeters. The coat is a little velvety, soft, grayish in color, maybe slightly brown, the belly is white. Human Assistant in India, scientific researchers tried to find out the cause of the spread of one of the deadly diseases, the plague. According to their observations, the very same Chuchundra giant white-toothed shrew provided a positive contribution and, in fact, first aid in preventing people from contracting the disease. How? The animals simply did not let infected rats, which spread the plague, into human dwellings, where they themselves lived and shrews actively destroy insects harmful to the home, the same cockroaches and nests of ants. And although these animals, as it turned out, are very useful for humans, if they live side by side with them, the population of India is actively exterminating them, since they cannot or does not want to see the differences between the giant shrew and the same dangerous rats. And people really do not like the sharp musky smell of shrews, which they emit in case of severe danger. To deal with these house helpers, people set traps, spread poison, poison baits. Often, angry dogs are set on animals. At the same time, nothing threatens their population in the world today. Thanks for watching.